Plano Center um, in Plano, Texas for the Epic Let's Play um, Geek Con of Game of Game Fest, I guess. Let's Play Gaming Expo. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we are here at the end of, of day two, Sunday. Um, we are glad that we did not break the bank this time, like we did at Comic Con, that much. Um, but we do have like a lot of swag. Um, we did film a lot of things yesterday that was going out the con. We didn't really do that many panels. We were mostly into the gameplay and um, going into the um, into the vendor room and and getting a lot of stuff. And um, Mia had like a really great, interesting con yesterday. Oh yeah. I got an Xbox, the original, for 25 bucks. Um, we, it was just, it kind of happened on a whim. I was asking around, and there are other vendors that were selling it for like 100 50 75 Found it for 25 and got all the peripherals, and I am all hooked up. Got this beautiful controller here. Uh, we are all set and ready to go. Got several awesome Xbox games I found. Jet Set Radio Future. If you have not played this game, it is one of the best ever. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so hard to find. I got this for what, six bucks, I think? Six bucks. That is amazing. Um, Ghost Recon, I got this from a really awesome person that we have to fangirl about because she gave us this cute little, this cute little mask cute right here. And it's like drift to mouth frame is, um, and stuff. So And the ears know. move. The ears do move. Yes. So he's in sarcastic mode. We have not named him yet. But he had like a couple of bunny parents that she um, allowed him to depart from. So we'll take that nest with good care of him. Yeah. So it was time for him time. to leave the nest. And yes. then we also got, or at least I also got, the original Mafia. Um, because this morning I finally saw the gameplay for Mafia 3. Mm -hmm. And I great. am excited. It's it fantastic looks. looking. Yes. So I decided to start from the beginning and uh, check this one out because it's been on my radar for a while. And then I also have Knights of the Old Republic, Woo! which came upon um, a recommendation from, I think, a guy who was one of the vendors here, yeah. um, I think for an indie game de developer. Yeah. So he definitely, that was one of the things that he recommended for her to get on the Exa boxes. It helps when you go to cons and make friends because yes, you find does. out about cool things like this. Yes, so. indeed. And yeah. kind of raised that, kind of got like a little cool, um, a couple of old school games myself. I have gotten Double Dribble from back in the day for mm. four bucks. Yes. Um, I remember playing this and the only thing I remember was the intro, Double Dribble. <laughs> yeah, this was, this was epic. I used to play this all the time. Um, I got this one from my hubs, Lost Odyssey, which I heard was told that was, this was epic. Um, apparently one of the um, creators um, that were worked on the Final Fantasy series kind of jumped over the fence to work on this game. Mm -hmm. So I know that he will love this, especially since it's a good um, turn-based RPG, um, which my husband likes more than um, what has been um, the RPG play that's going on now with the Final Fantasy series. So definitely we will let you know how that turns out. And Soul Reaver series. Now this is one of my favorite series. Um, I had I had still kept the original Leg Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver one. Had kept that forever, but I had sold this last year, and I re I've regret it ever since then. So I got this one back for about ten bucks. And to compliment what Mia got to her um, Ghost Recon two, I got. Re Ghost Recon one on PlayStation, so this one was four bucks. And <laughs> check out that Ubisoft logo from old school before they became the vortex of, of Doom. Of Doom now, so we're definitely so excited to play this. Um, yeah. We had gotten the Advanced Warfighter. What was it? Advanced Warfighter. Warfighter, yeah. And was not really impressed with the gameplay with that one. Yeah. Um. So maybe the original. You know, the originals are always starting with better intentions when they are making games. So hopefully, one and two will actually show up the sorry ones in the in the following sequels. Yeah. But so far, it looks pretty promising. It has. Um, uh, local co-op and everything, mm -hmm. and um, the graphics so far look pretty good, especially considering this is early first-gen Xbox, so we're really excited about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 
Da, 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 da. Someone's getting an Xbox 360. Yes, um, through much discussions and um, and deal, I should be having an Xbox. So this is weird because all of suddenly this weekend we hopped onto the Xbox train mm -hmm. just to see what all it was about. Um, and also there's a lot of games that we felt that it wasn't really fair mm -hmm. um, that we talk about co-op, but we did not have access to all the games that had that um, possibilities. Yeah. So um, we decided to get that, and um, I know Mia has like quite a few games lined up, so do I, um, and everything. So we're really excited to get started on yeah. that and to see what we're missing. What yeah, missing? Um, and then of course I couldn't leave out my PS2. Um, so I finally picked up Dishonored. I got this for Tiffany for what Christmas? For okay. Christmas about yeah. a couple years ago. Yeah, but uh, I never got a chance to t try this myself. And I've seen the gameplay for Dishonored too, and I'm just in love with it. So I was like, it's it's time. Yes, and, um, <laughs> I need to redeem that gameplay too, because I've gotten to the point where I killed too many people, yeah. and I see the repercussions of my actions. So I need to go back through to become more stealth because I really don't want to die mid-mission so um, so we will redeem that and yeah. another PS Fine I got this one the um, second son of course this was one of the first few games that was released on PS4 when yeah. it came out so I finally found Star Wars Battlefront this was 14 bucks this is the lowest I could find it um, on average it was probably like 40 or 50 dollars so this was a steal and the people that sold it thank you for holding this for me mm -hmm. um, you guys are amazing um, yeah yeah and then finally um, I have Grand Theft Auto 3 um, for the PS2 so I want to go back and replay this. I've seen some replay videos on YouTube, and yes, I'm crazy, to, do, um, to what go was back. It? Crazy, crazy for games. Who, yeah. who um, usually just plays a whole bunch of warrior, warrior playback, and he's done that for about ten years, and now he's finally going back and playing um, GTA 3. So yeah. it's just like, you know what? Maybe, maybe we need to go back and revisit that too. Yeah. So, yeah. Con overall. The con was just awesome. Um, or expo, whatever. Yeah, it, it didn't really have the same excitement as last year because this is our second year attending, so we kind of knew what to expect. There were a lot more people, and then the registration process was not as streamlined as it was last year. Mm -mm. But overall, like, I, I had a great time. I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, it was cool. We met a lot of really awesome um, vendors that are local. They're in the area, or they're thinking about um, moving, moving to the to area. The area. A cool DJ. Yeah, an amazing DJ, and uh, it was cool. We kind of saw a little bit of the Smash Brothers uh, tournaments. Uh, and all the oh and the, ah in yeah, the background. The yeah, Mario Kart tournaments. There's a Guitar Hero. There's just so much going on. We didn't see any panels, but I think for something like this, it's better to be playing video games. And then um, we got to, to play a little bit of Halo, and then... Uh, I love the the type or die. That was great. Yeah, the type or die, yeah. the typing of the dead game, the typing on of the dead. Sega Saturn. That is that is great. Now I would have taken that over Spellivator yeah. at at school if we had type of the um, type or die. Um, so that was great. The only the only grievance I had about the game was the translation because there's like annual was spelled with one n instead of two. You know, so um, and the uh, voice acting is terrible. <laughs> it was terrible, but <laughs> but like a lot of the um, graphics reminded me of for some reason Goldeneye. Like some some of them were looking like Pierce Bronson, a Bronson little in bit. there. <laughs> yeah, they. I feel like they could be Gap models or something. They just look very impeccable very, for people very, fighting zombies. But. Very sleek for being in such a dreary place. I mean, their 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 clothes were on point. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we unlocked the, the final level too. Like yes. we, got to the, we actually cleared the, the final level. Um, and no one else had no by one that else had. But then again, we kind of um, um, kind of put it back to very easy. And even on very easy, it's, very, it it's really, very difficult, really difficult to get your fingers underneath without panicking as they're charging at you. But it's yeah. such a fun game. It's one of those games like I kind of wish I had at the house. I'm like if I had had this like in high school, we had to take keyboarding as a requirement. Like I would have had it on lock because I would have just been in, just in there playing all day and 
yeah. Like, put that up to, like, the Oregon Trail of, right. like, <laughs> <laughs> educational <laughs> Forget Mavis, um, video games. Maybe it's vegan teaching. or whoever that is. Like, just just go ahead and put typing over there. Just put that on, and I'll, I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. And, um... Just casual reminder, this is only the stuff we just got today. Like, yes. this doesn't include all the stuff we got yesterday. Yeah, like, I have gotten <sighs> a couple of other um, um, Nintendo um, NES games for myself. And um, I got um, Ninja Gaiden for, for the hubs. And I got my... Um, I had gotten Double Dragon 2, which we played. And we had, like, a little bit of crew for footage for y'all. Yeah. Um, but that was one... But that was one of the games that I used to play with my brother a lot. Um, so, so when we were playing, I was like coaxing Mia, like, okay, we used to do this, and yeah. we used to get this dude over to the cliff. Don't fall off the cliff yourself. And um, <laughs> but like, there was a there was a little bit more of just games. You saw like a lot of um, vendors who have more classic games yeah. than just you know your your. PS2 on up, you have like a lot of them selling your your yeah. Segas, your Ataris, your um, anything else of that, and there was multiple of them. So like a lot of times, you know, uh, to be fair, we were doing a lot of price shopping around yeah. to see if we can find a cheaper one because, like Mia said, like she got Battlefront for about fourteen bucks, but there were like people selling it for like thirty five, forty bucks. Yeah, but um, it's it's incredibly, especially for harder to find games, like you kind of have to do some. Some you know comparison shopping before you buy, and it's funny because a lot of the titles that I bought were things that I had no intentions on buying. It was just it just happened, and I was like, oh my god, like Jet Set Radio. I just happened to stumble upon this. We've been to this retailer like three times looking for stuff, and I just on a whim. Now that I had the Xbox, so I was like, let me check out their games, and lo and behold, this was there hidden, it is. a hidden gem in here. And there's also another a racing game in here as well. Um, six bucks, like I, I just thought it was amazing. That's so, great skill. Um, but it's it's a really great place if you're trying to find, um, you know, very decently priced items because you know, a lot of the vendors are local um, and they they're very warm and very friendly. They they may not have like actual storefronts. Yes, but, a lot um, of them are from um, out of their homes. Yeah. Like, the lady and um, the husband and wife that we got this they're little so guy from. Sweet. They're so sweet. Yes. And a lot of their games were just duplicates that they had. Yeah. And this is variation games from from all generations. Yeah. They were had everything at the table. So this was duplicates. And this was their first time coming. And so we ran into a couple of them with that same situation yeah. where this was just coming out of their house and they just needed to unload some things yeah. that and, they had. And it, they were really friendly. You know, they, it wasn't like they were trying to push to sell stuff. They were just, we were just chatting about games and just randomness and it just happened to work out and mm -hmm. we found really cool stuff. And it was, it was great. So I, I, I really like this because I feel like it's much more personal because you get to know the vendors, you see them. Constantly, constantly and, or yeah. they're local, so you get to go and see them and everything else. Saturday was was swarming with people. There's a ton of people, but again, it was just really cool to see so like so many people come out and just hang out. There were Especially lots of like parents. families yes. and parents, and the the kids were. Like, it was so cute watching them go to the older systems like they would play on like the Atari or um, the Amiga or you know Sony like the Sega Dreamcast and yes. stuff like that and they're like daddy what does this do and, and they're trying to play Pac-Man and what was your favorite part what did you like most about about the, the convention Sunday <laughs> yeah I, I like the the um, slow, slowness of the day. Everyone has already experienced what they need to experience because it's not, it's not big like a comic con where you have, you know, you have so much space. It's only a little time to explore everything. Yeah. Everything you can practically explore at least twice a day if you're lucky. Yeah. I liked getting to know a couple of the um, of the indie games. It was one yeah. called Inner Space. It ha kind of has like a simulation of Nights into Dreams, um, simulation of flying, and you have and you're pretty much like an archaeolo archaeologist in this plane, and you go exploring, you like search for these treasures, and of course it's still in. Um, it's, it's still in testing, they're still kind of in beta mode, yeah. but it is a glorious and gorgeous game. It's, it's, it's beautiful, it's very relaxing, and like even even dying, you don't feel panicky about it, because it's just like, oh, we're crashing, but look how beautiful it is as we're burning into flames. Like, it was, it was just like, it's a beautiful I, little death. I, I, yeah, like, I'm like, you know what, I don't even really 
feel that upset. Maybe this was just the way it was meant to be. Uh, yes. We'll just try again. It's all good. It's okay. So, yeah, yeah. it's awesome. It I like this awesome. one. awesome. Um, what, is it, what did you like about Oh, man. I just, I, I think I like the atmosphere in general because it's not celebrity focused. It's on the, the gamers. It's on the audience and the traffic and the people and everything. So, it's just... I don't know. It's it's a lot more like chill and relaxed, and you can meet people and and do a lot of research and do a lot of gaming. And Definitely, you had more more room to do things multiple times. Like I was glad that we were at least able to play Type and Die more yeah. than once. And the arcade was awesome as always. It's just swarmed on Saturday, so it may be better to try the arcade Sunday. We got to play Joust. Yes, and it was fun. It, it was, was fun. <laughs> a lot of stress, but that was the first time we played Joust. We usually just pass over it, yeah. or other people are usually there, but they had like two or three different, they had like two um, two things of Joust um, arcade machines, and they also had Joust 2, but we just stuck to the regular Joust, and we yeah. also played it on an Atari. Yeah. So, um, so we were, that was the first time playing Joust. <laughs> it still reminded me of Code Monkeys. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, it, like we're just on ostriches, but I don't know. It was, it was cool. It was weird, but it was cool. Uh, playing the Atari definitely gave me some some severe carpal tunnel. Um, I did Duh. well on, <laughs> on, on Pac-Man and everything, but I was just like trying to get the joystick to move in the direction you wanted to. You have to halfway break it off, so. Practically. <sighs> and especially since like this equipment, I know it's already done, um, endured so much force from other people. Yeah. <laughs> years, like this is 30 plus years of abuse, so I'm like, I don't, I didn't want to be the, don't want to be the person to actually break someone. The, the fact that it was still actually working, I think I was just impressed with like a lot of these consoles are just wow. So is yeah. there anything that you kind of missed from last year that um, was not present this year? What did I miss from last year? Hmm. I I don't know. I I feel like everything was present. I think it was just the newness that made it more exciting. Mm -hmm. And this year I feel like okay, we're sophomores now. We kind of know yeah. the ropes of things, so it's a little bit different. The vibe is different. Um, I like how they reconfigured the tournament area because last time they had them crammed um, yes, and the way that they they did it it was it was a lot better it's still very crowded and I think as the con grows they're gonna have to do a little bit of logistics adjusting yes. to kind of figure out like what to do I'm probably just gonna have to move it to like a slightly bigger place yeah maybe um, I'm thinking probably in a couple of years if it keeps growing, even just a tad bit yeah. like it has over time. Or even moving some of the vendors out into the hallway or, or something like that to, because that, that's a huge, really huge area and mm -hmm. I think it's just going to keep growing. But, um, yeah, I like this one. I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So The bad thing about Let's Play is like the, the emphasis is a lot less on panels than it is on actually playing. Yes. And so I feel like we kind of neglect the panels a little bit, but I don't, I don't think it's a huge deal because it guarantees that the audiences are small and you know, the speakers are, you know, the audience is a little bit more intimate and interactive and, and yeah, you don't have that interpersonal that you probably would get in a large panel full of like hundreds of people so yeah, yeah you know and that was kind of like how we felt when we came here um because it was after after comic-con but mm -hmm. we didn't go last year but going to comic um comic cons or fan days around here in the past it was kind of like a break not to have to bust your butt have to wait in line yes. to get into panels but in, and this one was kind of like you know it was overriding it was that. a come and go like it just felt like you were just doing a big shopping spree and trying stuff out it felt like being in best buy before best buy became just oh, annoying um, <laughs> where, globalized and yeah where um, you could just go in and you could try out video games you could buy stuff and they wouldn't bother you for hours it's just like all right just like my mom used to take us to Best Buy and, and we would just go try out the games and mm -hmm. no one would bother us now. I can't even walk in the store without, without being bothered. Yeah. And what's also interesting is that I remember last year there was at least maybe about three or four mm -hmm. shirt vendors. There was only one, one. this year. I was really, really shocked because yes. I, I thought they would have 
we were going to at least get like two or three and they would make a killing like because um, i look forward to getting the shirts but yes. apparently that didn't that didn't happen that didn't happen but i don't even remember buying a shirt from here last year yeah. like, do you have any final thoughts um i can't think of anything honestly i'm just ready to go home get something really good to eat and then just get to playing because yes. i have some things to do a lot of things to of do. catch up and then and then, um, yeah, because, let's see, I think yesterday I got Halo and 13 and, and one or two other games. So we're going to go home because it's almost about, oh, I it's think it's almost. Time. It's closing time. It's closing time. Yeah. Vendors are packing up. They're telling people to get out, um, essentially. So, and we're going to go home because we're a few miles away. So um, we will leave you with the marvelous footage that we have collected it won't yeah. be too much so um since we already um took up so much of your time but we appreciate having it for right now so y'all stay camera game tastic and we will see you next time for our next venture at rooster teeth on um july 4th weekend so y'all stay cool and groovy we'll see you then until next time Bye. footage okay. so we're sitting out here waiting the sun Baking. How are you baking? Like a potato. Or um, how are you baking it? Like a potato. Like a hot potato. <laughs> I'm very plenty right now. Yes. Yes. So, it's supposed to open at 10. We're about like three minutes away from that. Um, hopefully it does not start later than that. Because even for the morning, it's still pretty hot out here because it's Texas. And we only have hot and mild Seven cold. circle of hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That also comes in a lovely bean dip. Yeah. Smash players. Smash players. I'm a smash player. Speak smash player. All right. So, at the Microsoft game room. Um, this is where we played Halo last year, and they also had Minecraft in here too. Yeah, and you get to test out some of their newer games that are coming out um, within the next year. So and it looks like they had more because it was just set up in that um, in that setup last year, but now it looks like they have more off the side. And they have more computers. I hope I hope they have Titanfall too. So I, want, I really want to test that. Play that. So this is the Microsoft and indie game developer. So be on that indie game action in a minute. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Aww. I think this is where they're having the tournaments. Yeah. And slash dealer room, I believe, is back there. Yay! Okay, tournaments over here. Panels over here in this room. And then the awesome free game play, um, free play game area, which we were in all day last year. I think we might do that again. Player Mario. <laughs> Shut up. I was talking about their old school TV that. I remember this one. So here's the tournament schedule here. Oh yeah, that's already going on right now. Yeah, I think Smash they, Brothers. Smash Brothers, yes. Or Square. They have a Just Dance tournament? What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, they also have the Sorry tournament at 2 o'clock. I mean, sorry, 12 o'clock and they have Halo. Mortal Kombat 2 on the, on the Genesis. I want to play Just Dance. Oh, they have a Flux one going on. I don't want to do that. I like Flux. It's pretty fun. Video game tour. Ooh, music. Ooh, a video guided game um, tour by Patrick Scott Patterson. Okay. Games on Earth. Here is all the games that are currently in the free play area. Here is the bane of Mia's existence right here. The Damn Teenage you, Turtles! And everybody's. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I can't even, no, I don't even want to talk about it. Double Dragon, which is what me and my brother used to be on. That was our sh Science. So we're going to get on there. And we have DuckTales. Okay. Did not play MC Kids that much. I still cannot do Donkey Kong much. Much. Really Game much? over. Oh, oh, my oh my gosh, NBA jams. Oh, Which made me um, figure out that nobody looks like who they were on <laughs> NBA jams. There was a couple ones that did not look like they like they were supposed to look. Let's oh, go, cool. Star Fox. 
is this one? Oh, Rocket Night Adventures. Banjo Kazooie! I never played Banjo Kazooie, did you? Madden. Eventually Madden. Yeah, basically the idea of the free play room is they have um, a box full of games and you just go through the box and request what you want and then you get to play for as long as you want. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So, like there's no time turn or anything like yeah, that. So it's all the games that you see, these can be easily changed out. Um, we just came in here so it's pretty quiet right now. But I think as everybody's checking out everything, there's Crash Bandicoot over here. I think is it Bomberman? No, it's Mario. It's Mario. Oh my gosh. So it's Mario over here. Is that, is that Halo? Yes, yeah, Halo. Okay. I don't know what this one yeah. is, but it looks pretty interesting. Samurai Spirits on this one. That one looks pretty interesting. This one looks interesting over here. I don't know what, what it is. What should we play for? Land Select. The Amazon. Transylvania. African Mines. The Moon. Let's go to the Moon. The Moon! It's weird. I played the remastered version. Uh, it's so much interest. It's so different and interesting. Even though the technicality is the same. <laughs> that was embarrassing. And Mia's already dying. So how was your um, DuckTales experience? I lasted 30 seconds. And I played the last half of it. And yeah, um, I'll stick to the remaster version. That was, I did not die as often as I died here. So I'll um, just stick to the cartoon. Moving on. last year a lot. It was painful. And Marvels of Madness. I think they were by each other last year too. Bit of his 
dildo. Dildo. throwing thing. Why he wrote gun down here, bro? Apparently he's on a, a magic quest for magical dildos for reasons. When well, he goes with the outfit. I was trying to be adult about this, but come on, look at it. We're already look, past look, look adult. At it. We're already past adultness wow. right now because of it looks it looks like a dildo. I'm sorry. It's nice and shiny. <laughs> and his hair smells like ginger. I just need just I just need this one, bro. Come on. Mm. That's what I said. And the magic happens. Alright. Um oh. How do, how do you shoot? How do you shoot? I don't think you can. I think you just have to outrun them. And there goes Tiff, running how I do. Oh crap, it's my turn. Run, Forrest! Run away! Hey, 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 stop. Stop. Go away. Stop. Run away. Run away. Silver Dildo! This is so. How do you shoot? I don't know. There's, we're supposed to shoot something. We're Here. supposed to shoot. No. No. What the hell? It's like a broke version of Techno Bow. How am I supposed to shoot though? Like, I don't give, oh crap, they're coming for me. Jesus! I mean, is it on the side? Dude, I don't, I don't, I don't know, player. I don't know. Why is that lake glowing? Why are they playing slow like this? Well, I ran through it so it's not hurting me none, but... So, like, if you run through it... How are you supposed to shoot? Oh, Ow. Ow. That's got I don't know how this is supposed to work. Oh. They're just gonna keep spawning. I don't like this. How can they die? So am I supposed to outlast the humans? I don't understand. I don't know. Jesus, help me. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this. No. Forza. We're in the, the Xbox room trying out video games today. And this looks this looks gorgeous. I have to it, it looks real. It's just so nice. Wow. It's weird is how you're so used to playing on a controller for 20 years essentially. You're, you're so used to the design of another console and get on. Yeah, it's probably a steep, very steep learning curve. It's like we're learning calculus. Like, the cars look real. They, they look so lifelike, it's ridiculous. Okay, so apparently I'm Look at that, look at those graphics, that's awesome. It's pretty. I don't think we play uh, racing games very often, do we? Uh-uh. Um, really, the last racing game that I ever played was maybe Burnout Revenge way back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I couldn't do Burnout Paradise. I could not deal with the, the announcer on the game. He was annoying. That's pretty... If you get in 
good. That was really great. I, don't, I think if I had not slowed down that time while I was trying to figure out the controls, I might have at least gotten a second. But you know what? Oh, and she even unlocked. Yay! That's awesome. Celebration. Alright, so um, if you like racing games and the graphics are beautiful and it's realistic. 